So uh, we're going to go on to chapter 11 today. And uh, it's titled the, the sound check, which is about checking your receptability of your message by the people, you know, how your message is getting across, right? And uh, just focus on what we just want to share uh, this afternoon. And pretty much we're in the part four of the book, we talks about the discovery of delivery, right? You have your message is all about ensuring that the delivery is right, that you get the message to the audience. Right, that's all we've been checking. We had the first uh, chapter last week, and we're here on to the sun, uh, the next chapter. Just all about the lead, we're talking about ensuring that your message gets across to the audience. Uh, and instead, this chapter with this quote, they're uh, talking about getting an audience is hard. Yeah, you know, I really connect the audience, it's a job to be done. Because everyone is concerned about their own business. Why? Right? You have to give them a reason to share their own business as it were, to focus on your own business, right? So it's like that. It's the way you have to capture their attention. It's one thing to capture it, it's another thing to sustain it for the period of your communication, right? And that's what we want to check about, talk about here. It's ability to capture the, the attention of your audience and keep it till you're done with your message so that you hope your message can eat all, right? And pretty much uh, like uh, TDJ emphasizes in the book, the art of communication is typically about movement, right, or motion, right? Uh, Jim Rohn would say that the essence of every communication is action, right? Your communication is not done until the people have something to do. Why well, it's not about the, it being impressed by your presentation. It's the fact that they lead with an action to take, a, a place to be, right? Because your essence of your communication is to bring them into a world, your world, right? For them to, to make a movement from wherever they are into the world that, that you are in or presenting as well because it's your heart trying to communicate to their heart until they can feel what you feel about the message and see what you see you have not done, right? So it involves emotion, a movement is from wherever they are to the place where you want them to be, right? And it talks about the fact that the best communicators are, communicators are able to carry their audience on that journey, cause there to be an action, cause there to be a movement, from wherever they were to where they need to be by as part, whatever is being communicated, right? Otherwise, it can be, it's been a waste of everybody's time. Communication has not been effective. And it goes on and says the one extra step in maintaining that obviously is capturing and maintaining the attention of the audience, right? Uh, and obviously to do that, you must have something what well for them, something they desire, something that, that, that will, will capture their fancy, their interest, something that uh, gives them a place called dear to go, right? And, and that's one way of capturing what their audience, what their, their, their attention per se. And that, that's the job of communicating, it takes a lot of work, a lot of research, right? Because you need to know your topic, right? You need to know what you're trying to deliver. So you can deliver it, right? Because if you don't know where it is, you won't take them to. How will they know, right? So like I say, typically, I, I become the message so that I can take them to the place that, that the message is, is tending to take the people to, right? So you must know yourself. You must know your subject, you know, you are to the best of your ability for that particular uh, event. You need to know your subject matter right and so if you, if you know your subject then delivery becomes an easy flow right because then you you, you you're not concerned about um not knowing where you're going because if you, if you, if you know your subject then you, then you have you have a picture of where it is you want to take the people to so it's easier to lead them 
to what you're seeing, right? And he, he pretty much emphasizes here the fact that it's not by trying to force them as it were to, right? And, and you know, leadership is, is a gift that the followers give to the leader, right? It's not something you take by force, right? You have to give them a reason to follow, right? And that's like what we see around in most places and people are trying to beat the, the people down with their words. That's the leadership. That's being a terror, a terrorist, not a leader, a boss, not a leader. A leader does not force the people to follow. Right, like he, 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 he hands the respect and the followership as it were of the people. It's not something you take by force. It's something that you, you hand. You give them a reason to want to follow you, right? And that's critical. That's it were, yeah. And, uh, and it, it just emphasizes here the fact that you, you, you could be creative around the windows, right? You, you know when to bring a, a joke in or no joke. You know, just be yourself. You know, the key word here that I see ringing through this chapter is the fact that you need to be real, right? If you're not real, people will see through you, right? If you're just playing a game, people will see through you. You will be able to sustain it. First of all, again, the, 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 the message goes beyond just a few minutes. You stand in that pulpit. Whether people listen to you or not is a function of the totality of your being before and after your time on the altar. Because you're talking to people that probably have met you away from the altar, people that know you from different sector, right? Where, you, where, you, where you're speaking, your words are judged by the life that they know, right? So you can only ask for so often, right? You need to be the message you're presenting. People will cut through if you're not being real or genuine. That's part what you're presenting, right? Uh, and that's what TDJ pretty much emphasizes here. If you, if you need to, well, you need to let you be real, really, be real. If there's anything in your life you need to work on, then work on it. Because if you, be, if, uh, for long, as soon as you start going to public ministry, there's not going to be any part of your life that's going to be. Uh, Uh, will affect your message, right? So it's better to get every area of your life right than trying to hide it. Because hiding, first of all, takes away the power of your message. And you can only hide it for so long, right? So you need to let you um, be real. That's key word, be real. You know, your presentation. And, and it, another thing is just also being up to date, right? And you, you, you don't want to be a dinosaur trying to minister to a, a, a jet age generation. It's going to be a disconnect. You know, sort of how much power you have in your message, you, there, there's going to be a difference in language, right? And that difference in language will end in your communication, all right? So you need to opt to, opt to date, not necessarily the fact that you need to change being yourself, right? But you need to know what's going on around. You, should, you cannot be a, 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 a ignorance of, 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 of the environment you're trying to minister to, right? So you need to update yourself, you know, and, and what's going on so that you are able to minister to a real world, to a real people, right? From yourself. It's not a matter of you having to be someone different from who you are, you know, but it helps to know the audience, the environment in which you're ministering so that you're hitting all the right points. And using the right illustrations also. At the end of the day, that there's no government communication gap in your administration, right? And just also say that there needs to be balance of don't let your emotions be cloud your message, right? It's your message you're trying to communicate. And if you don't have your emotions under control, they could tend to decolorize, decloud 
not to make your message be visible, right? So you need to be calm and collected and ensure that more than just your emotions breaking through, your message gets through, right? And, and, and that's just what we learn from the chapters all. Let's see how much of your size I can do all alone. So I'm all alone just today. You know, and here in, in the first exercise, it talks about that there are some keys we've discovered in keeping our audience attention, which is what the chapter is about. What are some of the particular challenges engaging your audience in communication medium you prefer? I mean, for me, it's just uh, being relevant, you know, I guess that's the way I, I tend to probably keep the audience, you know. I don't work too hard at it, you know, I, but I, I, like I say again, I, when I prepare for a message, I first of all study and inculcate it. It can literally be a part of me. Probably more than anything else, the way I keep the audience is just by being me, being genuine, no acting, you know, I, I, I'm just being transparent and authentic. Yes, that's, that's a real thing for me. Um, what are some of the particular challenges to engage an audience, you know, in the communication media you prefer? Well, I guess some of the challenges, you know, being able to meet people where they are, right? You know, not everybody operates at the same level as I am, you know. Uh, so that is a continuous battle, you know, being to, be able to speak to each person's uh, situation, status in life, you know, so that you can help them to wherever they need to be, you know. That's, but that's a continuous uh, process, I guess, fighting and making that right. How well do you allow your personality to infuse you? Yeah, you know, it's just a double-edged sword. I'm a passionate person. And if I get too much of passionate, being passionate in a message, I could potentially uh, not let my emotions override and overshadow the message. So I have to control that. So as to ensure that the reason for standing up, sitting down, to, to communicate is to truly communicate and then just uh, waste the time, you know. It says using the scale of one to 10, how well do you allow your personality to? You know, uh, maybe I'll say seven because I, I give it my all, but I'm just also wary that it's, I don't want my personality to overshadow or be cloud the message. All right, I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to do the other activities. If, you know, but key word at the end of the day is the fact that um, we need to be conscious of the fact that not just that we have a message, but that the message we have gets passed on to those, to the audience that needs to hear it. And we need to then take all the things that might seem to prevent that happening. Like our emotions, um, our emotions, pride, not being updated, not being prepared, you know, those are things that can stand in our way. It's up to us to work on it and make sure they do. I'm going to stop here for today. Thanks. Thanks for coming along with me. You've been home alone. Um, God bless you.